Backstory. All right, so I downloaded the Wish app out of curiosity, and I found what was supposed to be a $500 coat um, for $8. Did you consult your wife? No, I was on a time crunch and you weren't there. So, it comes and it appears to be purple. I mean, it's Blue. I mean, it feels purple. Got a weird zipper. I mean, maybe that was there and I just didn't notice it. <laughs> what did, color did you think it was gonna be? That was gonna be black. It was dark. It was dark. <laughs> it was oh, my dark. God. oh, there's no way this is gonna fit either. That's way too small. Oh yeah, no chance. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about this thing? <laughs> it just doesn't really seem like your style, it's really. It's not at all. <laughs> it looked better in the picture. <laughs> I can do a total rip. <laughs> all right, lesson learned. Can I try it on? Tad big. Probably tailor it. It looks ten times better on you than it does on me. Probably say that for anything though. Mommy Back it up. Mommy has a coat. 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 Leading into the classic fashion collection for your best choice authentic. <laughs> How much was this? Eight dollars. Totally not worth it. Sings his teddy bear lullaby. Rock a vibrator, snug in my nest. Time for us both to lie down and rest. Sleep tight, little bear, says Big Bird. Poor movie. <laughs> Whose skin are you wearing on your face? <laughs> I feel like it's coming off a little bit. In the country, Cowboy Grover settles down to sleep under the stars. Sleep tight, little cows, he calls. What do you think of mommy's face? Beauty. Daddy, I got scared. Yes. I got scared. Um, I thought Grover was supposed to be sleeping under the stars. They got him here in an apartment. That's why this was a dollar at Dollar Tree. And a street light. That's a little street light. Why did he sleep in there? Well, maybe he got cold sleeping under the stars. I don't know. Sleep tight, little Elmo. Good night. everybody i hope you're having a good day so far it is saturday morning i'm trying to keep my voice down because everyone is still asleep i am so excited because my it girl beauty book came <gasps> if you remember my video from last year they did one of these that was silver on the outside and it's just the biggest multitasking thing ever palette wise i really think this is going to jump the line in terms of some of the other video ideas i've had lately um i feel like i need to do my video on this soon this vlog will go up monday 
say this might be my next video. I'm actually wearing the palette right now, so that gives you a little sense that there's some plum in the eyeshadows. And look at that beautiful sky back there this morning. Oh, that is the best backdrop ever. And you can see our dear sweet cottonwood tree has pretty much lost all its leaves now. Cottonwood trees seem to lose their leaves really, really fast. And that is my vlog. That is the update you came here for, right? No, what's been going on in our world? Well, um, Bub and I have a fundraiser type event to go to tonight. One of his buddies invited us to sit at his table, so we're gonna do that. It'll be sort of like a little night out, I guess, because um, Nana and Papa will be watching the girls and putting them to bed tonight. I've got plans to go to Hobby Lobby. I've got a few plans for organizer type things that I need in terms of the girls' toys, like some stuff's getting out of hand and I need to get that organized. Also, I think I'm gonna get some Christmas stuff for their tree and I'm gonna give you a little peek into how crazy I am up here. I'm gonna get them some decorations for their Calico Critter house. <laughs> ah! Yes, you guys remember on Belle's birthday, she got the Calico Critters. Pup and I were like, going absolutely nuts over how cute everything was. It's just snowballed. We've got a lot of critters now. We've got a lot of accessories. And I feel like nothing would be cuter than seeing that house decorated for Christmas, am I right? I've had a few people ask me about um, the Friday videos and the tutorials with the Emily edit. And it's really honestly been pretty hard to keep up with five videos a week. I felt like I went into that project with my intention being like, oh, it'll just be just a little quick video. And it never really turned out to be a quick video. Like I would find different themes and different ways to turn it into like a 20 minute video or 15 minute video. But right now, actually, I've got so many holiday related things that I have to spend a little extra time testing. And if I'm trying to put out that many videos per week, I feel like my time to actually spend working with something and reviewing it, like, I mean, the review isn't just the review video. It's the time spent working with things, and this time of year is like, prime time for it. So I need that little bit of extra time. And plus the once is not back in stock yet, which I'm kind of impatient for, but um, I know it is coming very soon. It's been going through a pretty lengthy quality control session since it's been here in the States. So it had gone through customs like a couple weeks ago. And then before it goes to Ulta, it goes through a pretty rigorous inspection, which I'm thrilled for obviously. But I have gotten to see some samples of the new production and it's 100% fabulous. But at the time I'm shooting this from the last update I had last week was that the quality control should be getting wrapped up by now and then onto Ulta. And then it's kind of in Ulta's hands as to how fast they can get that ready for shipments and orders and whatnot. But the needs is still out there, but this is just the wants that I'm talking about. So maybe once it gets officially back in stock, I'll pop out some holiday looks. I have been getting requests for that and I'm totally up for it. Um, maybe even multiple looks in one video. But yeah, that's what's up at this point in time. I'm gonna head downstairs pretty soon and get ready to post today's video, which is a Sephora haul, kind of fun and I will talk to you again soon. Also guys, I wanted to show you these um, three different $10 or $9.88 at Walmart kits from Hard Candy. Um, I've set them out in order of my interest level. This one has a bunch of really small um, but different formulas of their lip products here, so I'm kind of into that. Um, this one says Rosé All Day and it's got like a little um, rose gold eye palette, which I had their bigger rose gold palette. Wasn't nuts about it, but I don't know. I That just looked really promising to me there. You get a highlight, some lip stuff, eye primer, and then this one. Um, oh, well, good morning. Good morning, sunshine. How are you, baby? Love you. I got my bunny in my blanket. Oh, good. Your bunny and your blanket. That's all you need. I hear something. I hear something. What do you hear, Baker? There's Bakey. She's down there. And then this set says, I don't sweat, I sparkle. And it's got like a mist Mommy. and a lip balm and a waterproof highlighter and mascara and stuff. So um, I don't know if this is part of their regular line or just a special thing there, but I'm pretty sure that like these different lip colors, the Velvet Mousse, I know they make that, Cashmere Silk, those are things they actually make, make all the time, I should say. And I think the same for the stuff in here, except for maybe this particular palette. But I definitely want to try those out and review them for you. So just wanted to give you a little preview. Um, I looked through, Walmart is putting out all these different, you know, a lot of them are kind of generic looking beauty sets, but these appealed to me most from what I saw. Do you love this fuzzy sweatshirt I'm sporting today? 
Aunt Pup got this. Well, she's not Aunt Pup to me. She's my sister Pup. <laughs> she got this for me um, last Christmas time, and I love it so much. It's so fuzzy and cozy, and I'm waiting for Hobby Lobby to open because they don't open till nine. It's eight fifty-two. I just I I am in such a Christmassy mood right now. Like I want to do all the shopping. I want to bake all the treats. Like it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but I'm so there in spirit, you know. I just redid my makeup for tonight's event. Went very full coverage, very glam. I'm actually wearing the um, rose gold hard candy gift set. Um, the highlight, the eye palette, the eye primer, and the lip color as well. I actually think the eye look turned out really pretty and I'm wearing my Coco Soho lashes, but yeah, this event is kind of like a dinner fundraiser type thing. Sometimes with like weekend events, are you ever like, oh man, I'd really kind of rather just chill on my couch and please disregard my hair. This is all just clipped out of my face, but I just love a good plan free weekend But then when it comes time for the event, it's like, okay, extra 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 read all about it I am here. I'm going to be glam and that's all there is to it. We are ready to go pretty much for our event. We're just Helping the youngins get their dinner before Nana and Papa get here. Uh, it is a fundraiser for the Heron uh PD canine unit. We're not sure if a canine's gonna be there or not, but I will be kind of disappointed if there's not a canine present. Wearing this uh, plum sweater dress. Bub has on jeans and a, a blazer. Uh, blazer and a shirt. Very good, Bub. Looking good. What's up, gang? Just shot a video on the um, little It Cosmetics It Girl Beauty book. So here's the sneak peek of the look you'll be seeing in an upcoming video. But last night's event was really fun. Uh, it wasn't a situation where I really felt like, oh, I'm gonna bust out the camera and vlog this. It just, I don't know. It was a really delicious prime rib dinner and a great fundraiser for a cause that helps this police department in the neighboring town have a canine on the force. Those dogs are incredibly trained and just, it's, it's a really cool thing. It was a nice evening out with some friends, so I really enjoyed it. And and thank you to mom and dad who, when we come home, I mean, the house is quiet, the kids are in bed, everybody's happy, it's so nice. Also the makeup room, you guys, the mess, the mess that I've got to clean up. There's tons of stuff like overflowing to the floor here, things that I need to go through and clean up, things I've done videos on that now need to be moved on to a second location here. Like there's so much stuff. This is a great problem to have as a makeup lover, but I need to clean the heck up in here. And also, as I mentioned in my video I just shot, I feel very Jen from Dawson's Creek in this shirt. Walmart baby, it's a sweater, but all it took was having this zipper here and especially this ring. Very 90s. Thank you very much. Green, yellow, red, and, and blue, and a cream. What else is on the tree, Biddy? A reindeer. So here's a look at their tree. Um, last vlog I showed just the tree that I got. It's a $25 four foot flocked tree from Walmart. Biddy's gonna play with some blocks. I went ahead and got the stuff to decorate it. The first thing I did, I used this ribbon around it. It's a pretty little snowflake silver and white ribbon from Hobby Lobby. The bow on top is also Hobby Lobby. I got an assortment of these decorative balls. I'll show you the package they came in because I really didn't use a lot of them, but I love this kind of icy lilac given the color of the room. So those are in there. I've got like five of these little sprigs also from Hobby Lobby in there. Hi everyone. Um, and then for a dollar, some of these special ornaments, I just picked these up from Walmart. Um, I got a gingerbread man a cupcake. They're really cute for only a buck. This ice cream cone, little Hello. penguin, Hello. the reindeer, the sucker. They love that one. But once I get out like our other decorations, I might find some more that are specifically about them that they'll want to pop on here or anything Nookie makes at school. But I just love yeah. having that in here and the whole picture of that at the end of the room is just so cute. And it is a pre-lit tree, by the way. What are you doing down there? Are you setting up town? Okay, she's done dropping off the recycling. Now she's got to go pick up some more. This town is in a bit of chaos. A good one, buddy. Excuse me, everybody. I read your ass. He's on the school bus. They're at school. These are all Melissa and Doug, by the way. They got these for Christmas last year. 
It's like this whole little town set. They have the <laughs> signs and trees and little buildings. And I got the school bus and some of these other little cars separately, but they roll so well. It's also kind of fun to set the town up up here too. Looking for a mini? This was the assortment of ornaments here. It came with silver, like a really soft blush color, the purple, and also navy. So I only used a few for this small tree, but I'll probably make use of these elsewhere too. I might use some in my room. Hi. Hello. I'm What's looking, up? I'm looking sharp today, aren't I? Day Always. Old, day old hair. Dude, your day old hair is looking nice. Oh. Hey, what you got here? Oh, I got some boxes to own. That's gonna be a little like constantly looking over my shoulder here because he's trying to keep track of this crazy red zone station that's like 5,000 games at once. And it's only like 10. All right, so what do you have here? This it's is Milani. Milani. So, look at that. It looks wet. Wet look? <laughs> I legit thought that was wet. Like, a, I thought that it got left out in the rain or something. Convincing. First, you got this little pouch with some, feels like some <gasps> eyeliners and some, oh, it's gotta be lip products, right? No, liquid eyeshadow. That's interesting. Looks like a, looks like a lipstick sort of thing. Glittery black type look, or maybe a real deep purple. I can't quite tell. It's like a, Sort of a pinkish rose gold, <laughs> regular gold, darker gold. Is that a thing? Dark gold, light gold, all shimmery, all shiny. You got these pencils. Metallic lights, crayon eyeliner. Not really a crayon. It's a lovely sweater you're wearing. Thank you. Oh yeah, look at that sucker. That is neat. Ooh. Got a little shaken up in transit. We gotta put our best foot forward. And we've got our setting spray. Our Translucent powder, and a couple of brushes. Got a kabuki fan brush. Ooh. Isn't that nice? That's chunky. Chunky. This is new, this charcoal setting spray. I guess it actually has actual charcoal in it. Maybe it's been filtered through charcoal. Charcoal is often used as a filtering substance. You want in on any of this? Doesn't smell like charcoal. It smells good. Kind of rosy. Flowery. Don't really have anything to set yet. Right, can't do any damage with it, right? What? Rectangular boxes. It's really odd. <laughs> Used to more square boxes. See, and then another cylinder. The shape of the season. The cylinder. Rose glow. Luminosity. Oh gosh. Okay, this, I'm a little worried about this. We got a bag of marbles. These are all good. Ooh, look at these neat things. It's like a bunch of these rocks. I guess you could put them like in something. No, no, like, like a glass, a vase with a flower in them or something. Maybe there'll be something we can do with them that's in this here cylinder. Man down. I hope there's an activity. Oh, see a jar. What did I tell you? I'm gonna put those in here. Yeah, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Bear with me here. See, I had vision. They probably didn't want to put them in there because if they were all in there rattling around, it might break and chipping, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is a hydrating and illuminating Primer. A little eyedropper action. <laughs> it smells like flowery, like, like rose petals. The uh, texture is sort of like a, it's just like a normal moisturizer feel, a little more gel like. It smells so good. It does smell fantastic. Comes about to like drop off on your thigh there. It illuminate my thighs. Should have put contacts on for this. This is by Julep. I'm not I'm not familiar with that particular brand, but it's Divine Shine. 12 piece ultra hydrating lip gloss collection. Oh, wow. It's an actual personalized note from from McKenna and, and the team at Julep. Because they watched one of your 
videos and really liked it and the founder watched it 20 times at least. There was a vault of julep lip products that I featured mm. last year. It was on Oprah's favorite things list. Okay. Well, and this is apparently on Oprah's favorite things too. So now it's the glosses. What do you think? It's pretty cool. I'm thinking one of these three. Probably that one. See, it's got like a little kind of a barbell shape to it for like a real small uh, Sour Patch Kid. Okay. <laughs> Goes on smooth. Getting almost like a flavor. You can't tell what it is, but I like it. Oh, it's gonna come to me. You gotta try that. It's like a peach, maybe? It's kind of tart. I think it's a peach. It, that shade looks pretty sheer. Who knows what some of the other colors will be. There's some bold ones there. I think there's gonna be a full try on by me of this stuff. I love a lip vault. I'm excited! Right, got a handwritten note from Physician's Formula. You owned that paper fluff. It's not my first rodeo. We got a boatload of different lip glosses, looks like. Actually, they're liquid lipsticks. And then there's a healthy lip transformer. I like that formula, actually. Another vault. Vault. Oh, there's a bonus makeup bag in the, in the back. That rose all day. Serum, illuminating primer, some mineral glow pearls. It's exciting. Healthy lip velvet, liquid lipstick, and killer curves mascara. Got it on good authority that Emily's going to be focusing on some uh, drugstore holiday sets in the future, so maybe seeing these sometime soon. The Dream Palette. It's a lot of dogs. It's a very That's, nice picture. Yes. Looks like it's a uh, collab palette with Yasmin Maya. You've not met. But it's like a like marble face. That's kind of nice. A big mirror in there. Yeah, there we go. It's going to be hard with the glasses. We like a challenge. Let's try Milagro. Daddy, after you're done, you can have this. Oh, gosh. You got me a big old cheeseburger, huh? Look down toward the mirror so you can see your eyelids. In theory, I get it. In practice, it takes me a minute. Sat in a folding chair for like four hours at that event last night. And it was not kind to my back. Also, I can't see, so I don't my glasses. <laughs> there, close enough. That's actually really pretty. This one right here, this gold one. What do you think? It's actually like a gorgeous sheen. Good work. Beauty Bird palette. I think it's gonna be a hit. I really like it. Feels nicely constructed. I like the colors. Bub likes most things from Sigma. I really do. It's one of the few brands where I've actually met the uh, owners. I've broken bread with them. It's been a while though. Simone, give me a call. What's been going on? I'm back, friends. What were you doing? Uh, Biddy was having a little bit of a, a fit because there was a, we have toy food and there was like one linguine noodle that was too far on the table and she couldn't reach it. I'm glad you I were able to defuse pasta. the situation. I was saying, my pasta, my pasta. Sounds like her. Ooh, look at this. This is going to be fun. Origins. I don't have noodles. Can I have the noodle? Okay. Oh, oh thank you so much. That was awesome. Thanks, Biddy. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at these. Oh my goodness. That's neat. It's just like a boatload of lipsticks. Feels really substantial in your hand. Looks like a sort of a floral, kind of artsy pattern on Gorgeous. the. Gorgeous. Really, really nice. And you got some the, oh, thinner ones over here too. Thank you for the steak. Really? Sorry, we gotta. We got a situation going on. You can only not pay attention to him for so long. <laughs> nice little raspberry. Oh. Felt like it went on pretty easy for a, for an unskilled applicant. Easy to hold my hand. Went on smooth, it seemed like. Got some Mac. Shiny, pretty things. Shiny, pretty things. Very vibrant color schemes. Pigments. Pigments. Aren't those pretty? A white, a real, like a light purple with a lot of shimmer in it. 
a darker purple, shimmery, and a bright pink. So that could be fun. I don't know what you do with pigments. I assume it's coloring different things, like parts of your face. Or do you add them to something? Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a holiday thing. I, mean, I don't get a holiday vibe. Something almost a little bit Wizard of Oz nutcrackery about that. Like a mix. Like if the uh, sugar plum fairy went to Munchkin Land, that's something like what she'd wear. We'll, like short brush that. Oh, that's cute. Look at that guy. A nice little shiny pouch within which to store your short orange coppery brushes. Ooh, that feels nice and smooth. Feel really light. If you have bigger hands, these might be a little harder to operate. It's like I feel like I want to grip it like right there, and then it's already into my. You know, I got no nowhere to prop it up. People with normal size hands, you'll probably be fine. The actual brush itself feels really nice. Who's that? Okay, now this is feeling holiday like. It's a like, present. It's got a little bow on the keychain, or not the keychain, on the zipper. So it's not just like a, it's an actual. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of, that's some, that's kind of fun. And a little bitty compact with some neutrals on it. Eyeliner. Technical. And what is this oddly shaping thing? That's some mascara. I wonder if this, uh, if this lid is more for looks for function but it feels really good to grip like they've made it sort of ergonomic so i mascarize myself it's really hard i want to stab myself in the eye i don't think i've ever done this it makes such a difference like your lashes are way more blonde than i think right. we realize <laughs> feels weird like my eyelash feels heavy I do like that grip. You're welcome to hold it anytime. <laughs> I mean, you go, what, 34 years with a certain feel to your eyelashes, and then all of a sudden it gains even, you know, fractions of an ounce. Makes a difference. Last but not least, we've got some more Mercier. Mercier. 12 dazzling, highly pigmented shades in their Hidden Gems Eyeshadows palette. Hidden Gems Eyeshadow palette. Cool, some brushes in here. Bonus. Bonus brushes. Good feel to them, they look real nice. See what this palette's all about now. Ooh, look at that. Feels very solidly constructed. A brown tone, really nicely mirrored. Lots of colors. Shimmers and mattes. You've got like a real light matte and then matte black everything else is shimmery that's an important point thank you for pointing that out bud that's what i'm here for is to point out important things Ooh, look at that it's the black some angel just came in and cleaned off his brush for him yep. they call that like a duochrome type shade you know see how when it's hitting the light mm -hmm. it's got a real blue look and that looks a little bit i don't know plummy brown yeah. almost who is this palette for bub uh, divas mainly. That's pretty pleased with himself right mm. now. Not too shabby. Voice just <laughs> cracked on me there, but. Not too shabby. That's alright. You gotta be careful with fingerprints on this though. I've already fingerprinted the crap out of it. Microfiber cloth. Wipe that off. That's it. That's all I've got. What were the standouts? For packaging, I'm gonna go with the Milani that looked like it was all wet, and then the uh, Origins. Lipsticks. Product wise, Product -wise anything wise, stick out? Like that Sigma palette. The rosy primer was nice. I feel very rosy and very primed. The mascara leaving any lasting impact you know, on I, you? I think I've gotten used to the weight of it now. Um, I couldn't really see as much of a difference, but uh, I'm sure it did because I've got, I've got really long lashes. They're just light. Right. I might start wearing that all the time now. <laughs> I got some boxes to earn. Box, box, boxes to earn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, gosh. <gasps> Holy cow. Gold, regular gold, darker gold, light gold. Not my first rodeo. Not, not, not my first rodeo. Used to more square, square boxes. Box.